Hey guys, today I wanted to do a installation on my Oregon Speed Feed Head to my Steel FS90R trimmer. I love the Oregon Speed Feed Head, probably my favorite Speed Feed Head that's out there on the market today. I bought this on Amazon. I love going to my dealer, uh, sport my dealer, 100% best dealer around. I previously have bought the Oregon Speed Feed Heads from my dealer. But I saved about $12, $13 actually buying this on Amazon, okay? So if you have not bought your speed feed head and you're interested in purchasing this, check Amazon out. Obviously, the first thing that we need to do is we're going to take the regular steel head off. And it's not a bad head, okay? The speed feed head is a whole lot better, to be honest with you guys. This head works fine. You have to take it apart, obviously, and spin it up. Um, which takes a whole lot of time. That's not a horrible thing, but this has this little tab on the bottom here. When you tap it on the ground, it uh, gives you more line. Uh, with the speedy feed head is flat. So that Oricon speedy feed head is gonna glide on the grass along the ground. You're gonna get a better cut um, compared to this. And it's just gonna be a lot faster cut and a lot better cut and smoother cut. And I promise you guys, um, you're going to 100% um, love the speed feed head compared to uh, the steel head that they give you. I'm gonna push this in here until it locks, start to spin this, and it'll eventually catch just like that. And uh, just like that, and take this guy right off. Okay, I have installed the Oregon speed feed heads before. Um, I'm gonna take this out of the package real quick, but this is a pain in the butt. The first time you install these guys, it took me about two hours to try to figure out how to install this. I couldn't call my dealer because they were closed. It was a Sunday. Um, literally took me about two hours to install this. So um, love these things. The only downside is no instructions when it comes to installation. This is the head right here. They too give you this green string. To be honest, I'll probably just end up taking this green string out. And they also give you this little bag here with a bunch of different fittings and this little extension uh, piece. You're gonna wanna keep this piece if you're installing to the steel um, and you're gonna wanna keep these close as well because you're gonna end up uh, using one of these. So we're going to go ahead and open up this package. I cannot remember which one. I almost feel like it's the green one that we need. But we'll figure that out real quick. Um, like I said, it's a pain in the butt with no directions. First thing that we're going to put, obviously you have this piece right here on here on your steel. Put that there. You're going to want to put your extension on um, and it goes this side down. Um, it catches the O-ring that's right there. So you want that side down. Next, I'm gonna put this green piece right here off to the side. We're actually going to have to take this and open this guy up because that green piece will be replacing this in little insert right in here. Let's see if I can remember how to, how to do this. Like that just comes off like that. So this piece right here will look like that. And we're gonna have to pop this open. Let's see if I can do this real quick here. Okay, so that took quite a bit longer than I was expecting. Brand new, it's a pain in the butt to get this open. So what I did was press my finger in here, took my little flathead screwdriver and just popped it open. Um, pain in the butt, but just like that. So now we got it open. Um, so this is your top piece, put that off to the side on the inside here we have this spool and this string we'll probably go and take that out um so let's just get rid of this string real quick it's so this piece right here this insert we need to take this piece out this middle piece comes out here as well. And let's see if we can pop it out. 
out, it looks like it pushes in. So it'll pop out this way, I believe. Maybe if I can bang it. Yeah, there we go. It started pushing a little bit, so there we go. Now it pops right on out. So take this piece. We do not need this piece when attaching to the steel trimmer. We want the green piece. I'm going to put it in this way, hopefully. Get this piece in here. Come on. I'm not, I tell you what, guys, I love this speed head, but it is a pain in the butt uh, switching these attachments out. Um, I don't know if it's Oregon's fault or if it's Steel's fault or not. I don't know. I really think Steel should just, to be honest with you, make a speed head. Um, I love Steel equipment, but that's one thing that they're lacking in for sure. I don't know enough Steel equipment, but <laughs> I should have a say in them. And that's really not really good. Okay. Now we, that we got that insert in. Let's see if I can remember how this goes back together. I believe just like that. Um, and let's see. If that and so I believe this goes in here. Just like that. Right. Okay, so now this should... This piece here, attach back on here. All right. And now just like that, we're gonna screw this on with this extension piece that's on here. I'm just trying to get it right. I might be screwing it the wrong way. Actually, I think you're supposed to screw it left. I think it's reverse thread. Makes sense. I'm gonna pop this guy back on. And just like that. And the next step is to get your handy dandy, usually an Allen wrench um, works better, but I don't have one with me at this moment. I'm going to poke it in the top here to prevent this from spinning. That is how you install the Oregon Speed Feet head. There is an arrow right on the top here. You want to line that arrow up um, with this port here. So just twist. Uh, there's a couple arrows. Twist it until that lines up. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell or not. Let's see if we can get there. But you can see now all the way through. So take your trimmer line. Make sure that hole is lined up. If it's not lined up, you're going to be pushing all day long and not know what's going on. Um, to kind of want to watch it, guide it through. It's all the way through now. We're going to take this and pull it. Drop your trimmer. Pull it level. Now once it's all the way through, hold the bottom piece of your Oregon trimmer and spin the top part. So spin, spin until it goes all the way through. just like that you got yourself Oregon speed feet head this is by far my favorite head um, compared to I don't know why steel provides this stuff this is one complaint I love steel I have everything in steel this is one complaint that I have from steel this speed this loader head here is just garbage um, I mean this has lasted a year it's kind of normal wear and tear okay um, but the speed feed head by Oregon just glides so much better across the across the ground. When it attaches to the steel, you do have this little tiny gap in between here. Uh, and you would actually think that little gap right there is a bigger problem than it should be. Um, I really haven't had much stuff get caught in here. I would probably give this speed feed head out of 10. I would give it a probably eight and a half just for the simple fact of lack of instructions 
but I guess I understand that because there's so many different trimmers on the market. You can't give instructions for every single trimmer. Um, and it's just this gap right here uh, in between the trimmer and itself and the speed feed head. So guys, if this video helped you out, because I'll tell you what, when I was trying to search for uh, installation instructions on how to install it to my steel trimmer, I could not find anything on YouTube. Um, and it literally took me two hours just messing around with this stupid thing to try and figure it out. So, uh, please, if this really did help you guys out, hit that like and subscribe button. That's why I'm making this video to help you guys out. You don't get stuck for two hours trying to figure this thing out like I did. Uh, please like subscribe. Peace out everybody.